seeing the rocket getting up to the sky was very nervous keeping my fingers crossed that it won't explode then of course finally seeing the deployment was really really exciting and i remember that we received the signal we verified that it's our satellite and basically we just started shouting screaming hugging each other So that night was really exciting and actually I'm waiting for more of those moments because I really want that everyone of my team uh, would experience that uh, feeling and, and that moment in their life. I joined Nanoavionics as embedded software engineer. Uh, so my first project was working on reaction wheels, but later I became responsible for the whole software and finally as a lead software engineer. Since I am responsible for the whole software department, there is a lot of uh, management included. Of course, supporting colleagues takes uh, the most of my time. I spend a lot of time in, in meetings, <laughs> uh, but still I am Inside, I'm a software engineer, so I prefer to spend at least uh, half an hour coding, trying new stuff, prototyping. So that's how usually my day looks like. The team itself, I think, is uh, really different than you could find in, in another company. So a lot of people here actually, I think, at the night time, look at the sky, look at the stars and find them fascinating and, and, and interesting. During the last days we had a lot of talk in the office about uh, Neowise Comet. So for example yesterday uh, I was taking pictures uh, of it, other colleagues were taking pictures of it, so I think that's a, a common thing that we share, that we love space, uh, we love to go to the uh, sci-fi movies together, spend some time together, so I think that's the, the, the whole mood inside the, the company is, is very nice for me. I love science fiction, so I read a lot of science fiction books. I watch almost all science fiction movies, TV series, and the most of them I love are about deep space missions, exploration. So um, one of my dreams would be to send nano satellite not only to the LEO orbit, but even further, it would be nice to have like a moon mission or even further. So as right now we have examples in the industry that nanosatellites, uh, they are capable of doing uh, deep space missions. So that's, that, that would drive me crazy. <laughs> in general, I prefer active free time. So like jogging, uh, cycling, basketball, of course. Then from time to time I am back to arts, uh, painting, a bit of photography. I would recommend Battlestar Galactica and uh, The Expanse. So those two are great TV series. And recently I discovered Lego sets. Uh, I remember that I think the most of my childhood was in, 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 in the box with the Lego bricks, building, creating something. And I believe a big part of my creativity comes from my childhood. So uh, still from time to time buy Lego sets and uh, when building those I have like flashbacks and, and uh, the, that deja vu moment from, from my childhood so that I really enjoy.